little quick introduction video here. Uh, this Rusty Speed and Custom. Uh, I know it kind of looks like a carport with just a junky old truck parked in it, but uh, it's pretty much exactly what it is. Uh, I've been interested in trying to document some of the work I do on this truck for a while. Uh, me and this truck have a lot of history, and I wish I would have documented a lot of the stuff I've done before this, but uh, better late than never. Uh, Kind of real quick, uh, I've been working on cars pretty much my whole life. Uh, it's what my dad did when I was growing up. Uh, kind of passed it on to me. Um, I plan on working on a lot of different cars, but this truck right here will always be a part of my life. Uh, it's been a part of my life in one way or another since I was 16 years old. Uh, so it's, it's been a, a journey. Um, I hope to kind of get caught up in these videos, all the work I've done to this point, uh, kind of where it started and a little bit of the story behind it. Um, but uh, hopefully I can make something you guys kind of enjoy watching and also give myself the opportunity to look back on the work that I've done on this truck and and all the memories and stuff so uh that's something you're interested in uh maybe uh follow these videos and i'll kind of show you all the stuff i've got to do on this thing to get it back on the road because honestly it's been sitting for a couple years and it's got some issues but uh hopefully making videos out of it will kind of keep me motivated uh kind of forced me to set aside time to work on it because life gets a little crazy sometimes uh, so that's kind of my goal I'm, I have a lot of things I want to do with it uh, a lot of different events I'd like to go do and uh, I like to drive stuff so I, I just want to be able to drive the wheels off it and have a good time and uh, yeah so the first thing I kind of want to do here is I, I'm going to kind of take you guys on a walk around of the current state of the truck uh, kind of show you some of the stuff I've done maybe some of the stuff I need to do here pretty soon uh, yeah so as, as you can see body's not in the best shape uh, honestly there's there's very little rust in this truck uh, I, it was originally from California so it's it's pretty dry uh, bed's a little rough but I'll kind of show you that in a second uh, just got a set of fresh wheels and tires put on it so uh, in hopes that I can start driving it here pretty soon uh, the old one's really old and I honestly put a lot of miles on it uh, as you can see it, this this was originally a long bed truck uh, I did cut it down myself uh, took me long time to do it but uh i'm pretty happy with that i've always wanted a long bed truck uh and i knew that this this one wasn't gonna go anywhere so i figured i better make it what i want uh, it's had a lot of uh questionable body work done in its past life um and i have a tendency to start things and then uh, get distracted so a lot of areas I kind of started working on and I need to really buckle down and get everything cleaned up and get a good coat of paint put on it so it's preserved better than it is right now uh, it needs some trim yeah it needs a little bit of everything uh, kind of see it's got some good parts in it uh suspension wise and and stuff uh, the inside's full of junk but it actually has the the bucket seats in it which is 
pretty desirable option in these. Uh, those seats are kind of hard to come by. Um, I would like to eventually strip down and repaint the inside or really the whole thing, but right now it's uh, road worthiness is more important to me than than looks. Uh, we'll open this door. Uh, yeah, it's a lot of different people have worked on it, unfortunately. So there's some stuff that I'm not happy with, but I actually sold this truck and, and bought it back and uh, have had to kind of, when I bought it, I, I turned it into a, a driver in a hurry where I drive it back and forth to work. And uh, I put... I drove it every day for probably three years uh, till I could afford to get something a little bit more reliable. So part of me having to turn this thing into a driver is unfortunately when I sold it the, the original 327 had been taken out of it um, and a, a big block was put in its place. Um, and when I got the opportunity to buy it back. Um, the individual wanted to keep his motor which is okay with me I'm, I didn't really want a big big block in it as it sounded like it had some overheating issues and stuff so I kind of scrounged up this is all kind of used parts I had in a storage shed and uh, I kind of scrounged up a little motor it's, it's just a 283 uh, it's got a it's got a cam in it and uh, way too much carburetor and, and I don't know it's kind of it's kind of just a bunch of junk it doesn't make any horsepower but it sounds cool and it was really reliable for me um, like I said I drove it I drove it for years uh, back and forth to work every day and anywhere I had to go um, it did come with originally when I first had it it had the a four speed manual it was granny low um, fun to drive uh, but when they put the big block in it they put a turbo 400 in it automatic and when I bought it back they left that in it so I just I just went ahead and used it um, and actually right now that's the biggest thing holding me back from driving is I, I think that there's an issue going on with transmission uh, which is probably what we're going to dive into in the first uh, actual video working on this thing um, but yeah it's it's just a bunch of used parts um, but it's it's been a good little motor I know it's got a lot of miles on it I kind of know the car came out of before I rebuilt well garage rebuilt it um, and that was that's been about six years ago now uh, and maybe someday I'll do something different with it but right now like I said I'm just itching to get this thing on the road again and start driving it uh, I'd like to put a big like you know 400 inch or 406 small block in it and have a bunch of horsepower but uh that'll come when i have the budget for it and right now i don't so we're just working with what we got um again kind of show another quick walk around of the bed here uh, that was quite the task uh and I, I don't know that i did a great job but uh beds all cut down and really drive straight and it does everything it needs to do uh, I'm, I'm not the best at welding sheet metal and this was way more than I'd ever done before so uh, it was quite the learning experience but uh, yeah I, I really love this truck and uh, like I said I want to want to kind of have something to remember it by so uh, yeah that's kind of the start of 
this channel and uh like i said i i like to be able to buy some other cars and do some other kinds of work uh, but right now this truck's going to be the main focus until i can i don't know hopefully do maybe power tour or some sort of cross-country road trip next year as kind of the goal so hopefully i can stick to that something i'd like to do to kind of finish this video off and to be honest i don't know if i'm going to know how to do it because i'm not very good at computers but uh, if i can i'm going to insert some pictures up here um kind of different stages of the truck i believe i have photos from when i owned it the first time uh, all the way up to when i bought it back and some of the transitions it's went through to get to where it's at right now uh, so if i can figure that out i'll put this clip in and then i'll have a bunch of photos for you 